welcome back. So today's video is obviously, you guys seen the title, my first pair of Christian Louboutins. So I wanted to share with you guys um, the shoes, my first pair of shoes that I purchased from them. I just um, wanted to give you guys a little scoop on them, what I think about them, uh, what I've been loving about them, um, a couple of maybe tips if you guys are looking for that for these shoes. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in a bit. So this is the box they come in, a beautiful box, um, very uh, sturdy, I really love that about these boxes. Um, well this is the box it comes with, like I said, and this is the first pair of Christian Louboutins that I picked up a little bit over a month ago, and um, I got these as an early gift to myself, an uh, early birthday gift to myself. I've been wanting these um, shoes for a while now, uh, for an, a while now. I picked up the Pigalle 120 MMs. So I decided to finally purchase them. I obviously saved up for them. I ain't no baller, so I just, you know, I took me a little bit to save up for these, but I have been wanting them for about two or three years. So I finally said that I needed them, I wanted them, and I had the money, so might as well get them. So I wanted to share with you guys the ones that I picked out. I got the black uh, Pigal 120mm, and when you open up the box, it just looks like this. It comes with a little baggie, um, obviously your receipt and all that information in there. It comes with a dust bag, which is perfect. Um, and when you open it up, obviously your shoes. I have already worn these uh, pair of shoes one time already, um, a little of about a week or two ago uh, for my birthday celebration. I did wear them, I just had to. Uh, but here are the shoes. I got the um, black patent leather, the shiny. And I got them the size 34 and a half because they do run a little, I guess a little small, or I'm sorry, a little big because I my, my regular size is a five or five and a half. Um, but when I tried it on at the store, the five was just a little too big and patent leather does stretch. So I figured that they would be a little bit um, too big after a while uh, so I went ahead and got the 34 and a half I tried it on if it perfectly yes it was a little tight but like I said after a couple of wears uh, patent leather does stretch so that's why I decided to go a size down so if you guys um, are a size well whatever size you guys are in any type of shoe if you're not gonna go to the store and purchase them you're gonna get them online just make sure on the Pigalle you get a size uh, smaller uh, so go down a size. Um, that's what I did and they fit perfectly. Like I said, I wore them once already. As you guys can see, the bottoms are already uh, a little bit um, worn. Uh, but um, these are the Pigal 120s. Are, I'm not going to lie to you guys. They are not comfortable at all. Uh, they are a little... I mean, they're not for walking. That's all I can tell you. They are not for walking. I We went out to dinner for my birthday, and it was fine uh, because obviously we're sitting down, and um, that was perfect. But then at, kind of after dinner, we decided to go to a bar, which we had to walk towards. And I did get pretty tired at the end of the night with these. I actually had to take them off because I just couldn't anymore. Um, they are the 120s um, MM. So what they mean by that is just pretty much the heel size. I'm pretty, tr I'm pretty sure this is... a. Uh, a five inch heel um, uh, don't quote me but I'm pretty sure it is uh, but anyways these are the 120s and they are very steep right here so obviously that's what makes them um, not very comfortable I was kind of looking into the the Plato ones which are really beautiful they have a little bit of a platform they did not have my size so obviously that's why I didn't pick them up um, and the Silk Kate ones I tried them on and they just felt way more uncomfortable than these. Um, I feel like they're a little bit more, or they're probably the same steepness right here, but it just seems like they're thinner from the sides. I don't know, but I just decided to go with the Pigalle. I always wanted these, so I said might as well just go with my gut, and this this is what I picked. Uh, I went for the black ones because they pretty much go with anything, just like the nudes, but they didn't have the nude ones in my uh, size 34 and a half, so I decided to go ahead and pick uh, the the black ones. What I do after wearing them, obviously I've only worn them once, I went ahead and just cleaned it with a uh, cloth, uh, just warmed it up a little bit uh, and then just cleaned it off. It's not like I have dirty feet or anything but I want to keep these clean. I mean they are expensive. So I went ahead and just cleaned them off a little bit, just 
you know, the little bit of dirt that I might have had. Um, and that's how I kept them. Then I put them back in the box. Um, obviously, had this thing in there. I just put it back in there. These retail for, I believe, $6.75. I will link it down below just to make sure that that's what they are, but I'm pretty sure it's $675. I know a lot of people won't go out there and purchase a $600, $700, $1,000 pair of shoes, and I'm not saying that I'm going to go ahead and be purchasing these all the time. Obviously not, um, but I really love them. I wanted them for the longest time. I saved up for these. I saved up Christmas money, birthday money, and just some makeup money that I didn't spend. I saved up for... Um, to get these so I finally had the money and um, I decided to go to the store I went to the local mall and uh, picked them up and I'm very happy with my purchase I definitely recommend them if you have a little extra cash or you want to save up for them I definitely think they're worth it um, I'm gonna definitely try to save up uh, for the nude ones I don't think I will be getting the uh, Pigal. I want to go for the Plato, but I don't know if they'll obviously have it. I don't know when I'll have the money for the nude ones, but whenever I do have the money, I will try to get a pair of nudes and I will be the happiest girl on earth just to have a pair of black and nude Christian Louboutins. That is all I want. And um, obviously I'm not going to be going out and purchasing them like crazy. That's not going to happen. I like I said earlier, I, I am not a baller like that, but I will save up for a pair of nudes hopefully in the future. One more thing I did want to mention is that um, obviously as you're using them, they're going to wear out um, and the paint's going to come off. So a lot of girls have been saying that um, if you go look for, uh, I don't know if you go to your local shoe store where they fix the shoe repairs, they have some sort of like clear plastic or something that they put underneath and they'll stay red the red sole will never be worn out because it'll have like some protected um seal on it i don't know i really don't care um this just means that i have been loving my shoes once they're wearing out i just know that i have been loving them so much and that's why i paid what i paid for them yeah if you want to take care of them extra extremely more then that's great you know that's perfectly fine but i'm okay with it um I mean, I will only be wearing them on special occasions because this is not a pair of shoes that I will be taking into the office. Uh, even though I'm sitting down all day, well, pretty much all day, I mean, it would be fine, but and it's not a pair of shoes that I will take to my office. Um, just to like uh, dinner, uh, date nights, or something like that, but no, nothing too crazy or to go clubbing or bar hopping or anything like that. That's not going to happen, especially with these. If you guys have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to ask me down below. I will try to answer the questions uh, to the best of my, uh, my knowledge. Um, anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs it up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!